Tendo Akira woke up from his sleep due to a nightmare caused by the division head's treatment, which forbade all his employees from going home before their work was completely finished. He immediately remembered that he was no longer working due to the widespread zombie epidemic that had spread throughout the city of Japan. Akira was someone who was very enthusiastic when doing something he liked, so he shouted from his apartment balcony just to greet the zombies that were already wandering around his apartment and let all the zombies know that he would spend his vacation time working for three years at the company where Akira used to work, even though no one cared because they had turned into zombies. Akira immediately cleaned his apartment after not being cleaned for three years, and also washed his clothes that might not have been washed during his time at work. After finishing his household chores, he immediately grabbed a can of beer as a reward for himself for cleaning up after so long, while lazily lounging around because he had planned it. When he finished his second can of beer and wanted to get another one, it turned out that the beer stock was empty, and he felt regretful for not making time before the zombie pandemic struck. Whether he liked it or not, he had to buy it at the nearest mini-market, even though there was no need to pay since the people working there or the owners had already turned into zombies. As he set off to buy beer through a shortcut down the apartment using the pipe attached to the wall, he encountered a married couple who were alive but trapped in their apartment. The only thing he knew was their surname, Kosaka. The married couple asked for help to buy items such as food, toilet paper, and some emergency supplies. Akira, being a very relaxed person, agreed to their request and set off for the nearest mini-market. While pedaling his bicycle, Akira saw a horde of zombies that morning, even more than before. Although those zombies had a hard time chasing after him, Akira still had to be cautious of his surroundings during the journey. He didn't want to die before his vacation was over. Upon arriving at the mini-market, Akira noticed someone's racing bicycle parked outside, complete with a small camera to monitor the parking area as a precaution once they finished gathering supplies for survival. As he entered the mini-market, his mind was focused only on beer. However, when he approached the drink cooler, he was startled to see a beautiful woman dressed in athletic running attire with a thick jacket. Feeling lucky to encounter a female survivor, he greeted her and tried to make small talk, although he was ultimately ignored by the woman. But as the woman was about to leave, she noticed several zombies blocking the exit, which they eventually broke through. Akira, witnessing this, immediately stepped forward to protect the woman. Suddenly, a container truck appeared, seemingly about to crash into the mini-market. In an instant, the woman instinctively pushed Akira behind her, and the zombie that was about to attack was instead struck by the lifeless truck driver. The collision created an opening for their escape. Akira admitted that the woman was incredibly cool and beautiful, the type of woman he had always dreamed of. He wondered if he would ever have the chance to meet her again. Seeing that his bike was crushed by the truck, he panicked momentarily, thinking of returning to his apartment. While running and searching for something to use for transportation, he spotted a scooter unit with the key still hanging in the ignition. Without hesitation, he revved the engine and took off, realizing that there was no time to ponder such things in the midst of the zombie pandemic. Getting trapped would make it difficult to find a safe shelter. As he rode the scooter, he thought about how the pandemic started in the morning, with people just arriving at public parking areas and scooters typically having their keys still hanging there. He briefly daydreamed about the possibility of getting an upgrade from the scooter, perhaps a larger motorcycle that he had always desired. True enough, as he glanced around while riding, he found a large motorcycle unit and immediately switched to it to continue his journey. Feeling that one of his dreams had come true, he expressed gratitude for having the opportunity to experience riding his desired larger motorcycle. After arriving behind the building where the Kasoka family resided, he climbed up through the pipe to deliver the requested items for the family. However, when he reached the balcony of the Kasoka family's apartment, it was already too late. The apartment had been overrun by zombies before a cure arrived. Night fell, and while drinking the beer he had taken from the mini-market, he pondered why he felt like he didn't have any important priorities in his life, especially during the zombie pandemic. Quickly, he grabbed his diary titled 100 Things to Do Before Becoming a Zombie and began writing down his dreams. After writing down 30 of his dreams, he felt stuck, realizing that he had forgotten something crucial but difficult to remember. Shortly after, 
He remembered his parents and resumed writing his dreams in the diary, hoping that his family was still alive. This part will narrate from a different point of view, as it will be taken from the perspective of the woman whom Akira met at the mini market. At six o'clock in the morning, the woman woke up and immediately began her morning routine, which included light exercise in her room. While listening to television broadcasts and online news reports about the zombie pandemic sweeping the world, she finished her workout and took her vitamins. She attempted to contact her office in Los Angeles, as she worked remotely from Japan, and concluded that America was also affected by the zombie pandemic, and even worse, the entire world was likely plagued by the outbreak. Before leaving, she took the time to monitor the movements of zombies and identify the ones roaming around. During her observations, she discovered two types of zombies in the vicinity of her apartment. The first type was slow-moving zombies while the second type was the running zombies. After surveying the surroundings, the woman prepared to go somewhere by taking her bicycle, which was equipped with a small camera functioning as a CCTV when parked, allowing her to monitor the area where she left her bicycle and assess the number of zombies roaming near the mini-market. Upon arrival at the mini-market, her goal was to gather essential emergency supplies, such as food, drinking water, batteries, and portable gas canisters for emergencies. While considering which area was least affected by the infection, she arrived at the mini-market. Once there, she parked her bicycle and checked the surveillance camera to stay alert. Inside the mini-market, she immediately collected the most important necessities. However, when she was about to rush back to her apartment, she saw Akira walking towards the mini-market. Despite initially intending to ignore him, she noticed her horde of zombies clearly chasing after Akira. Not wanting to get involved with Akira, she chose to stay silent while searching for an escape route from the mini-market. But when she tried to exit, the horde of zombies had already reached the closed exit door. On the other side, her surveillance camera showed a truck approaching the mini-market, driven by a zombie. Sensing an opportunity to escape the dire situation, she tried to buy time by responding to Akira's lengthy conversation. However, Akira's instincts as a man remained sharp when the woman was about to be attacked by the zombies. He quickly positioned himself in front of her just as the truck was about to crash into the mini-market. Acting swiftly, the woman threw Akira behind her to save him from the impending collision. An opportunity to escape had opened up, and the woman hurried back to her apartment without considering Akira's condition after the incident. Upon arrival, she made sure her supplies were intact and sufficient to survive for the next few days. These supplies included bottled water, ready-to-eat meals, spare batteries, and emergency fuel in case she had to leave her apartment when it was invaded by zombies. While processing the data she had gathered during her food-gathering trip, she realized that the man who was captured on camera, looking incredibly happy with a can of beer and broad daylight, was actually Akira himself as he was entering the same mini-market. Despite the urgent and tense situation, why was Akira so relaxed and solely focused on those cans of beer? The woman was truly amazed by Akira, wondering how someone with such innocent thoughts could survive in a zombie pandemic. She briefly regretted not taking the Sakuramachi she had planned to grab, but eventually decided against it.